Bernalillo County has spent a lot of money addressing the need for behavioral health services. Now, with more programs available, there's a push to make sure that what we have is working and to make sure people don't fall through the cracks. On special assignment, News 13's Lizé Mitri explains. Setting fires, breaking windows. Anthony Tolbert's accused in four criminal cases just this month, but his record goes back to 2011. Usually he's found incompetent to stand trial and he's released. Another face to add to this familiar story. We see the revolving door issue, and so one of the reasons for that is no one's communicating. People struggling with mental health issues or drug or alcohol addictions can pass through a series of different organizations on their path through the criminal justice system. From the emergency room to the jail, to the courthouse, to service providers. One of the fundamental issues that we see in Albuquerque is that there's no coordination between all these parties. So we're doing duplicating efforts or we're not addressing the needs when they need to be addressed. And so people are falling through the cracks. For instance, up to eight different organizations providing case management services could meet with the same person in jail. By the end of it, the inmate hardly remembers who he talked to about what. That's according to a December report from the Bernalillo County Criminal Justice Coordinating Council. The council brings agencies like the district attorney's office, courts, and police together to the table to improve communication to address those issues. Mental health defense attorney Max Kaufman volunteers with the council. We're working now to shorten the gap between when someone is booked and when we realize that they need some sort of help. There are plenty of interventions out there, like when people get released from jail. They get dropped off outside the resource reentry center where they can get connected to services to try to break that cycle in and out of jail. Now the goal is reducing redundancies and improving care with existing behavioral health services. How do we really do what we can to stretch all of our combined funding and workforce to address the needs in the community? The behavioral health services director says her department and the jail are getting new management software to more efficiently track where people are in the behavioral health and criminal justice system. Which will help us to really uh, ensure better data collection and, and monitor the care of our clients in a different way. Still, the county department only offers voluntary services, so they can only help those who really want it. On special assignment, Liz A. Mitri, KRQE News 13. Voters passed a tax in 2014 that now generates more than $20 million a year for behavioral health services in Bernalillo County. Go to krqe.com for more information on those services.